working in, you know, freelancing from home, it has its pros and cons. And one of them is you're isolated in your studio for long periods of time, you know, slaving away at, at art, um, if you think it's art. <laughs> and you get, you know, you get holed up. It's, it's like, you know, two weeks ago I didn't have this beard. What happened? Like, the other day I was painting this and I was just doing, you know, the paint was just kind of there and I got lost in painting these rocks and these organic shapes just started like emerging and I was like painting and having fun and just in the moment and it was awesome. I'm like painting rocks and I love it, you know, it's great and I hadn't felt like that in a while so that was really nice because often it seems harder and harder for me to get lost in my work, you know, and to be in the moment. It, it happens in the beginning and towards the end, you know, like um, when I'm refining stuff, you know, that's probably my favorite part. I, I kind of miss going to work and leaving, leaving my work there and coming home and having my home be this place where I can relax and do non-work related stuff but when your work is your home and they're combined it's it's hard to escape I really miss that about having like the nine to five you know, when I was an in an in-house illustrator I had weekends not a weekend anymore that's a challenge you know I mean then again I don't have to pay gas. I don't have to do a lot of other things, you know, I make my own schedule. So it, it balances out, but those other aspects I think you don't realize are there until you're in it. And then you're like, man, I can't escape my work.